And welcome back, everybody, to the fourth and final hour of The Grim. Uh, we have just been introduced to Countess Galara. She's offered for these fine, dutiful young people, and, and one old, to come join her for a drink. Um, and that's where we enter. So she turns the yeah. corner. And do you guys well, call? What I, was, what I was really hoping that we could do here, because I know we only have an hour left, is um, uh, TB, do you want to just bullshit for the next hour? Do you want to like argue in character and everyone else can go do other things and then we'll just yeah. call it a show? I, yeah, I'm thing. entirely fine with right, that. Cool. So we're just going to, yeah. <laughs> So Sarah and I can we'll we'll just walk the grounds and I mean, we'll, we're cultists, and you guys can argue with the countess. <laughs> well, that, that, that's great. Yeah. Nice. I, I'm so, surprised that you haven't already opened fire on the countess, considering the obvious mutation and your me characters, what supposedly very rigorous when it comes to the application of the imperial creed. Yes. I don't. I don't make the shots. I just call them. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, she's an obvious mutant and there's only one way to deal with mutants and it's should our I duty be trying to, to hold do so. You, should I be trying to hold you back here? I mean, I don't, the, the, again, the I'm not doing anything. I look, I look to Scythia and I say, now. Yeah, I think, I think we held off before on yeah. the, on the who is in charge role. And I think uh, this is a perfectly good time to find out, like if if TB if if Gaius is really in charge and makes a case and like well, and also decides, if Gaius has an alternate plan and, other than kill the mutant, which is yeah. like our main jam. Kill the well, mutant our main like jam the is the acquisition of the artifact before it escapes the planet. Before we you know exterminate the whole planet. Our goal is not to kill some random cultists. We could do that anywhere at any time. We need the artifact. That's, those are the words of a of a reasonable man, not a zealous murderer of heretics, which is Indeed, what my which character is. Perhaps so, why we yeah we why yeah. we should be arguing this point exactly exactly because yes. I will happily argue in favor of the mission at this point and for the application of the imperial justice in a more surgical way, perhaps. So if we want to have this argument, I'm cool. Yeah, with we it. might as well just roll roll command. And I think the the same thing to do here is that because we both have the same ability to just win, we can just ignore it and pretend we don't have it because yeah. it didn't violate the role. Yeah, because we could very easily just do that. Yeah, do you want, looking into I mean, eyes, you don't see someone who's like uh, all there and and is perfectly hinged, uh, but she's but she's able to be commanded. So yeah. Should we just be making this roll, or should we actually be making our overtures first before the roll, and maybe uh, Jeff decides which is the more convincing argument, gives that a priority or something? How, how, do, how, basically, how gamey do you want this versus how role play do you want this? I think for this kind of roll, we'll let you guys roll it off, and then whoever wins can then role play the no. successful. Okay, yeah. I guess. All right. Yeah. So do you just want? I mean, it's just it literally it'd be fifty-fifty. Roll off, right? Yeah. Okay, well, you just want to roll a D100 and see where we well, go. Well, no, we should roll our skill, right? I have command and you have command. Yep, and... it's actually in the well, book. They're both equal, all right? Are they? commands. And then the tiebreaker is, because if you both succeed, it's not a tie. It's degrees of success that break yeah. the tie. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I've got I got lots of fate points, so I'm going to spend I'm going to spend one on mine. Okay, well, I'll do the same thing then. Oof. Okay. I got a nine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy Moses. Holy shit. I don't think yeah. anyone's beaten that. Nine under 82, yeah. Well, is... I guess we're taking the kill everything and never find the artifact approach. All right. I'll give it a shot just in case. Artifacts can be found without having cocktails with mutants. We find, them among, we find them among the dead. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm sure they're kept in the pocket of one of these cultists. Yes, that's where you would keep such an artifact. It would require the web way to move it. Reductionism doesn't give you a bonus to it, arguments, TB. It's in the it's in the chest of drawers over there. <laughs> yeah. Just roll Does the that one of my manservants fetch the artifact? Click, That's what click, he used to do. Click the little button. Stop Repeating being reductionism command, certainly doesn't give you a bonus. <laughs> All right, uh, you just roll it, no modifier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oof. Of course not. I mean, yeah. So what does it look like, uh, Brother Tiberius? I mean, it's clear our duty is to uh, is to to de deal with the threats to the uh, to the Imperium of Man. It's to purge the heretic, the psyker and the mutant, abhor the alien. And there's a mutant standing mere feet from us and the uh, the implement of uh, the emperor's justice revving her chain sword happily. Uh, so I, I, I loose the dogs of war. The, the time is now. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just I give I give Scythia the look that means uh, you know you're you're unchained. Do as thou wilt. All right. And what yeah, this, you, this is yeah. this is the Marlowe moment. You think it's one way, but it's the other way. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think 
I, I think she she wants it to be about high society and let's sit down and have a conversation. And the crazy inquisitors are just like, ah, and we attack her or I do anyway. Mm. So you run around the corner going after her? Yeah. Yep. OK. Um, yeah, you run a, you run ahead and you go around the corner and it's a pretty big room. Uh, she's not far ahead of you. She's not moving very fast. So you'll definitely mm-hmm. get your, your moment of opportunity here. But. Uh, in the room behind her, it's worth noting, is a big <laughs> door. Uh, the first door you've seen so far, by the way. A fairly ornate door with all kinds of decorations. But you run around the corner and you're immediately... It's as if someone took a wad of rotten fucking meat and poop and just gross things and smashed it right in your stomach as if it's a punch. So you're not taking damage. You're not knocked down. But you are in the presence, on even on a peripheral level, of something that to the very core of your humanity is abhorrent. It is not right. You cannot look at it. And it makes you, if you weren't a trained warrior off a warrior planet who is very violent to the nature, you would have turned coward and peed yourself. It's just everything's bad. Uh-huh. Uh, is coming from that door. The other door... Uh, has like a dim glow coming off of that. And again, in your training and education as a warband member for in- Inquisitor Dorgan, you know this to probably be a door where there's some kind of warpcraft, witchcraft, something along those lines uh, going on over there. And then in the room, there is a lining on both sides of the of the room is a handful of the purple-clad robed people, all with scarification on their heads, all holding basic blade weaponry. Um, all in numbers and told, it's it's like uh, eight of them. There's four on each side, so not an army, nothing like that. It seems to be kind of like an honor guard of sorts. Uh, and they're you, and they're by the glowing door. They're on no. The glowing doors are behind uh, Countess Scalara up the, a flight of stairs of sorts, but very uh-huh. clearly there. Um, she has like couches and night. It's like a nice. Like a, like a lounge space. Yeah, like an entertaining room where like she would she would entertain guests type of thing. And then yeah. to the left and right along those walls, which are just ah. like um, normal walls, potted plants, flame above it, you know, torches, that kind of stuff, are the four people on either side. Gotcha. You come running around the corner, you get surprised. Uh, she was not anticipating this at all. So you're going <laughs> to, it'll only be you because you got the charge, but you're going to have one round of surprise on her. Okay. I'm, I'm within reach of the Countess. Yeah, she's even got her back to you. She's just walking away, um, and you're you're just gonna go ahead and we we really get surprised inside yeah. a den of heretics. We somehow surprise them. Well, she she full on thought. I mean, assuming I'm willing to be surrounded, which is what it sounds like. If I if I step forward and do this, I'm surrounded on both sides by guys who are gonna so, jump me. Right. Fair enough. The 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 what's being uh, offered to you is that you are going to get a surprise on her. But the the uh, altercation will be then that you are in this room for one action alone. Well, these yeah, well, well, eight dudes jump on me. Yeah, the smart thing to do is to hold up and like attack one of the guys or something. But Scythia is not she, that, brains are not her thing. Uh, okay. zealot, zealotry offense. is her thing. All offense, baby. Yeah, she's a wild-eyed maniac that kills people for the emperor. So that's what she does. Uh, she she steps forward and goes after uh, Scalara. So let's see. Let's see. What we, let's see what we get. Um, plus so, thirty. Surprise. Plus thirty. Okay. Yep. I uh, will get that. I mean, I guess I'll do an all-out attack since it's a, a surprise might round. Well. I might as well. Yep. Um, and then thirty. <laughs> nice. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, eight. That's eight uh, success levels and chain sword. Damn, and that's the hit location. Well, it's 44, obviously. 18, penetration 2 to her. Where do I hit her? 44, her body. Her misshapen mutant a- body. Uh, not a, is it not? No, it's not a crit. Uh, wait, hang on. I have to roll my second damage die because of my chainsword. Do you have a second damage die? Oh, well, I can take the higher of the two. So that was a 3. So it does 4 more. It does 22 damage. Instead. But it does not explode. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you need to. Um, really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, she's, she's Suck it, Countess. Oh, no, she does have armor. Never mind. Hang on. You did 22? Yeah. Two, two penetration. Me. All 
All right. Um, she literally has mesh body armor, which is four. And then she's tough three. So you did 15 damage to her. She has 15 wounds. So holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, she, uh, she's not the scary one. It's her. It's her goons. Right? I know. But oh, no, but this is this is I, what she lives for. Yeah. You, this is so the moment that she was up, born for. Slash, and it just is a horrific wound. Like a the mushroom top. You guys weren't far off. That is, there is a misshapen body beneath that. Um, not quite a mutant, as as was. Uh, blasphemously inferred but rather <laughs> it, it appears to be a person that has undergone a, a gross amount of surgeries in the pursuit of something else we don't we'll never know now uh and she just unraveled so like you just sawing through her and there's just stutures and wires and and bionic uh like biological mechanical organisms and just she just, just comes undone a horrendous screech comes out from her because, again, she's surprised. She did not expect that. And uh, she falls to the ground, still unraveling. Still, She's writhing around. Parts of her body are moving in ways that you would not expect. Um, and she's just dying out onto the floor. And kind of with her last, her last breath, you see her kind of like reach up towards the door. And then uh, it's the door on the right, the one that you can't look at. Yeah. And there's... Um, a very chilling, cold sense that all of a sudden shocks from her body, like the whole room. There's even a little bit of frost that kind of builds up and occurs in the corners of... And you guys are around the corner, so you don't even know what's happening. You just hear this horrific... Uh, you've heard a sound like that before because you've been on the yeah. fields of battle. Uh, yeah. But then there's this, like, the lights kind of flicker and all the torch light, and the frost starts to build up in the corners. And a lot of you, especially the two... Uh, religious people have seen this before. This is someone expending a great amount of psycher ability. Something psychic just happened. Um, and that's it. And she dies. And then the four men on, or the four men and women on either side just immediately start coming, running forward uh, to go after you. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, that was sweet. Yeah, I think oh. Cynthia is ecstatic. Like, in the gore, she pulls the chainsword free and whirls around because she knows she's about to be swarmed uh, and her eyes are wide and she's grinning ear to ear just like yeah that's meeting her death and glory <laughs> is what okay. that's what she wants yeah so what happens next is a little bit different too uh we won't have to roll for initiative but is it safe to assume that the three others of you guys upon the experience in this come running around to help or what do you yeah think? I, I think i would I charge would. out after certainly think okay. so yeah i uh, I'd find a place with decent line of sight on the majority of the things which are about to fucking murder us. Okay. <laughs> Take up a decent sniping position. Okay. Uh, fair enough. So you're going to use your move action to... Because it's around a corner, So, but there is definitely like a wall and some pottery and stuff like that. So maybe you're, you're take, you can see the whole room from there and you're going to take your action to set yourself up there, uh, guys. Is that fair to say? Uh, I would. Are they... Her I mean, we should, in theory, be completely surrounded by heretics at this point from every possible direction, right? The whole house worth. Yeah, you would think that some kind of warning system would be going off or something. I sure. mean, well, that and, you know, a ripping chainsword and screaming lady of the house would probably alert everyone within a two-mile radius, yeah? So, I mean, would it probably made more sense for me to set up in a covering position to cover the backs of my comrades, since we're going to be attacked from all angles, right? You could watch the the walkway. There doesn't seem to be a thousand doorways leading into this. There, there's certainly, I'm not going to give you the guarantee that there's only one place they're coming from, but if you want to cover that door, that's totally fine. Probably made you the most sense. I mean, yeah. yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. So you, you want to watch our backs. So definitely. Yeah, that seems like the way to go. We're playing our mind's eye, but I'll just, just as a heads up, I'll give you, the, it's a position where you are seeing into the room, and from that spot, you could also see where you came from. I think that's totally fine. Okay, cool. Okay. So he does that. You guys come running into the room as well, right? Oh, of course. Severus yeah, okay. pulls out the, uh, the shock mall of justice, and he begins <laughs> wielding it indiscriminately. Really? You would. It does he now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. would. Um, so you guys kind of come running around the corner into this room. I like the artwork you guys did, by the way. That's nice. That's exactly <laughs> the feeling you should have here. Uh, and it's it is um, it is Scythia or Scythia, you know, like pulling out the chain sword. She seems to be overtaken in the moment. Just gore, like what was 
Lady Scalara is just uh, a, a spilled spaghetti plate towards this door. But you can your line of sight kind of leads you up to the door and also to the eight that are closing in on you. But there's all of a sudden this like almost like a ancient gong like sound it's obviously not that but there's a boom that kind of comes from the direction of that door and it starts to slide open and the eight that were running towards you guys stop immediately and they turn to face the door and they just go down on a knee uh and then almost at the exact same time they open their throats at the uh, with their own weapon oh just, no <laughs> they just fall forward. they are bleeding out gurgling uh, and the door continues to slide open, and that feeling that oh, Lady uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that that Scythia had of like being punched in the gut by everything that is wrong is it's it's as if like the door was holding something back, and it just is everywhere. If again, if you guys weren't such constitutionally powerful people, you would be everything wrong right now you'd be wetting peeing pooping running crying <laughs> it's <laughs> all of the worst stuff it is the, the whole nine yard jeff is it yeah. too late for an intimidation attempt it is too late, <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> that's uh, the most reliable way of killing someone <laughs> so as this as it opens up um uh you you can't quite see what's in there but you hear uh, what sounds like, like if anyone's ever had like a pet snake or something like that, that kind of flesh, um, when it moves up against something, it's you hear like a an unbridling, like a breaking of something. And then there's that sound very slowly coming out. Uh, and what comes out is mostly looking like this, but no legs. Instead, when I rolled for its mutation, it got it's a crawler. So it has a lower body of a snake, basically. Um, and, and this creature, if you look closely, which you can look on it, by the way, you can see it. It is, and it actually has four arms, by the way. That's the other thing we rolled for its mutation or no, I think I just gave it to that one cause I'm a dick. Um, so it has four arms with these, uh, with these tentacle appendages coming off of it and its body is made up of people. It's, it's entire body is soon to, sewn together, presumably those that were abducted, the, the highborn people. Uh, and what's really fucked up is some of them are still alive, so they're still kind of like mewling and crying, like they're they're half alive. It's not they're not like, hey, I'm I'm Janice, help me. It's like they're they're Susan. Yeah. <laughs> this this is the DLC for Dark Souls 4000 coming out of the thing yes. right now, it's just like right in our face. Yeah, yeah. And you cool. guys are now it it comes out and its arms kind of go out and it just slithers down the stairs a little bit. And you're noticing like a tense a tension of the muscle, and it uh, like it's beginning to look like it's about to strike. But before it does, you are overcome with a fear that can be best described as horrifying. So I think you take a fear check at minus twenty. I believe is horrifying. Shit. All right. Okay. Uh, fear check. Yeah, it's under wall. Will. How do you take yeah. a fear check? No, uh, no one's gonna pass this. Fear check at horrifying. Is it willpower? Or? Uh, yeah, it's a willpower test modified by how frightening the thing is. If you gotcha. fail, you su- if you fail, you succumb to fear, and there's like a table you roll. There's on. a table of fun. Table of fun. Damn, okay. I failed so hard. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. The 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 almost the, nobody's the, passing that. Yeah, the amount to which you failed uh, is what indicates the um, the bonus on the next oh, yeah. one. The next, the next one's the one that matters. Yeah, what is the modifier for horrifying, Jeff? Uh, minus, it's... minus 20. Minus 20, okay. Yeah, no. Ooh. Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, my God. All fail. Did we yeah. all just communally we did at minus 20. Of course. No, so now, at minus now 20, we'll... when we have around 30 willpower each, we're going to fail well, it. Everybody, 100, <laughs> and for every degree of failure after the first on the fear test. So figure out what your degree of failure is. So, John, ours is what? Eight? Seven? Seven. Uh, seven, yeah. Yeah. I'm seven uh, as well. I'm seven, what? Two degrees of failure? Three. Because uh, it's, it's I'm, what, I, all after the first one, right? After the first one, yeah. So it's six yeah. for six for John Harper and I, okay. and then, and then just roll and add uh, add that times ten, right? So like we're rolling. Yeah, and I'll just read them off. So, um, I've got that table here too. Um, can I read mine? This uh, is yeah. this is my moment. Let me let me read this yeah. part though. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Simmer down, GM. <laughs> Go ahead. That's mine. What? That's all? 35? Yeah, I only fell by two degrees, so... Get to 170 plus, guys. Someone do it. Here, here we go. Oh, just hang tight. I'm on my way. Oh. I mean, your, yours, yours is pretty I got 134. Pretty That's pretty good. Yeah, yours is pretty good. Surprisingly, the incompetence of the arbiters knows no bounds. Waiting on Reese. 83? Yeah. Hey, right. that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so but, bad. Let's start with Brother Guy. Oh, he comes on the corner. This thing slithers down. You gaze upon it, and I just uh, fear grips the character, and he begins to shake and tremble. He is at ten penalty on all tests for the rest of the encounter, unless he can recover his wits. Uh, see snapping out of it on page two thirty-two. So I mean, maybe that's even just a fate point or something like that. This or is perhaps a strong swig of Amasek. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, there's actually a snapping out of it hold, there. Yeah, hold on. Who who is that? That was um, Severus. Brother Guys. That was me, yeah. I, so guys I'm, I'm trembling. Uh, yeah, okay. I think you can fix that fairly simply. Um, the next one down we have is Scythia at 130. No, we should build up to that. Let's go with Yeah, let's Reese. do that what, one last. What, hold on. What, yeah. what table are you looking at, Jeff? What page are you on? This is the shock table. Okay. Because uh, the 35 on the shock table is... Yeah, okay. You got that one right. Okay. I see what yeah. table you're looking at. Okay. Uh, seven, our, our fair Arbitaz. Panic grips the character. He must flee the source of this fear, if able, as fast as he can. <laughs> and if prevented from doing so, he may only take half actions and is at minus 20 penalty to all tests. The character gains 1d5 insanity, which we don't really need to worry about because that's more of an attrition thing. Um, Still fine. So you also need to snap <laughs> out of it to regain control. So that's you. Uh... Not oh, my this wonderful day. indiscriminate One imperial justice that you're doling out over there. And 119. Yeah, <laughs> the best kind. It's not fainting, my best day. <laughs> fainting dead away, the character keels over and remains unconscious. For I one. have the vapors. <laughs> TB, we were, we were going to fight this thing no matter what we did. So just yeah, there's be, no... There's... Just rest, rest assured. It's, a, it's, okay. it's okay. Yeah, there I... would be no better entrance. To this game. As soon as it came out, no matter what... <laughs> There's no way Jeff was letting us off the hook on this one. Uh, and Adam rolled a oh, 1d5. Prepared, I rolled, yeah, I rolled a 2 5 so I'm out for 4. Uh, for Fair four enough. Fair enough. Snap out of four. it, though, I think. Whatever. Uh, uh, no, I, I, snap, I, can't, I don't have to snap out of it. I just pass out for 4 rounds, then I wake up. Damn, this one's really funny. So, Scythia. The character laughs hysterically and randomly attacks anything near him or her in a manic <laughs> frenzy, firing wildly or using whatever weapon he has to hand. This effect lasts until the character snaps out of it or until he is knocked unconscious. That is so perfect. Yeah, Thank uh, I, I am I, I think away a from her. A lot of these are pretty good. Um, the, that is like, fucking amazing. The, the trembling, because I don't know, maybe you haven't had a drink in a while. The berserker blood <laughs> frenzy yeah. totally makes sense. Me passing out. Like, it's all it's all on point. Uh, I'm sad that the Arbutus has to run away, but maybe you can snap <laughs> out when you get in the other room. <laughs> I go fucking ballistic on these fools. Poor, <laughs> poor Reese's character, though. At least I can be killed by Scythia. I ran away to safety. Uh, it's so a good Chad, thing you're not in the room, yeah. It's a it good was one Ephriel Stern who said, unfortunately, duty and fear often follow the same path. We must follow the one and conquer the other. <laughs> unfortunately, right. our Arbite's friend <laughs> seems to have followed the wrong and conquered the other wrong. <laughs> 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 uh, Congratulations, but you have conquered <laughs> duty and followed fear. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't faint. I'm just meditating on the glory of the emperor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Um, I may have, I may have underestimated the fear table. So I will be for you those of you that join me. For those of you that join me for the creation of this of the Oconi, I will be dialing back a few of its other qualities so that this is not. Quite Come on, this is this is awesome. You gotta admit, this is totally awesome. It is, no, I'm loving it. I'm the whole advice. planet gets blown up anyway, so it's okay. fine. What's <laughs> um, the artifact? Why did, am I the only one that remembers the artifact? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> killed the everything. Uh, yeah. So I think the advantage, the nice thing here though, is for Scythia, the the nearest thing is this thing. So I'm, you don't have oh, to. Awesome. That's not okay. The other guys killed themselves, and you're ahead of the group. So you, 
you're laughing hysterically, and you're yes. going to charge after this. I, um, I we're going to roll for initiative, though. And, uh, and some of you have to snap out of it, but you'll still roll for initiative, I think, and then be able to join in on that. Unless you guys have a better idea. Nah. I'm, I'm, my initiative is 13. I rolled a fucking 10. So nice. let's go. I wish that exploded. You that can was... use a fate point to just auto 10, by the way. Oh, okay. Regular, uh, it's the degrees. What? What is? Uh, sorry, how do you do initiative again? I'm oh, it's honest. a d10 plus your one d10 uh, plus the agility. degrees ability, right? Okay, your agility yeah, bonus. Apologies. Yeah, bonus. Yep. Yeah, not that. One d10 plus four, seven. Sure. And I'll just I'll just track because I'm right after Scythia. I'll um I'll take the turn after her fourth turn because that's how long I have to be out. Okay. All right. If, if, if we last that long. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Severus. Fifth, rather. Uh, initiative roll? Yep, d10 plus your, I think it's three probably for agility. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, chat, no one can actually tell that Scythia has gone mad because it looks yeah, exactly no. the same. As... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about her. Completely she fine. Just someone Channel will find out if they have to walk within sword range. Of <laughs> yeah, they, then, they, yeah. then they will yeah. discover. She's worshipping corn and we just don't realize. Like... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it is the question is, you're going to power game that shit and pretend that your character does know that she went insane or not. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, I just, I plan to stay away from her all along, you know. Yeah. Mental is my mind. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, standing, or well, not standing, uh, erected before you is the Akoni. Um, we got a nice 13 out of our newly, freshly insane Scythia. What would you like to do? Well, well actually, you don't have a choice. You have to introduce it. Yeah, so be because I'm crazy, mm -hmm. I do not take out my explosive hunting lance, which I was saving for an occasion like this uh, and 2d10 <laughs> the thing with my hunting lance in its face and detonate it uh, because my insanity says like whatever like I have my chainsword in my hand so that I'm Activate. using that I'm not I'm not in my right mind to plan the right weapon and shit so okay. uh, I hack it in the face uh, and I in the spirit of being fucking crazy I'm gonna all out attack it which means I don't get my evasion which is dumb but I'm gonna that I'm doing it anyway yes cool. do it that's awesome <laughs> Yeah. So I get. I think Jeff. I think Jeff. If you if you gave TB a fade point for just being plain old obnoxious earlier, I feel like John should get one now. <laughs> being suboptimal. I'm being so suboptimal. Uh, all out. Obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> Got the points. Turlin Fairlang once said that it was often remarked that diplomacy is just warfare by any other means. Our battles are no less desperate for being bloodless, but at least we get wine and finger food. <laughs> uh, 43, so degree, you, you definitely yep. hit it. A couple hit degrees of success. Um, you get a that. zero out of him, by the way. It, it's actually, it would have been uh, hulking, I think it is, but it has unnatural speed, which I, for this event for the audience, I actually hacked into canceling that out, is what it comes down to. Ah, gotcha, okay. And let me check my damage. I need to do my tearing roll. It's not better, so that is correct. 22, pin 2. two okay. It's 34, which is probably its body. Yes, that's its body. Yeah, it only has... Uh, its natural armor is 2. It has... Um, it's quite tough, though, at 60, so it's minus 6 from that, so it takes 14... Or no, excuse me, 16 damage. Yeah. Nice and done. Nice and done, yeah. It is wow. a and so you just kind of jump up again with your signature hacking away at something with the chainsaw. It catches right uh, in its collarbone-ish. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of its many actually, collarbones. <laughs> yeah, it, it actually, one of its mutations is that it has uh, a strange body. Like, that isn't you know that's not a collarbone whatever but it's that it's that collarbone area. is like a whole person though right yeah it's like made yep. of people yeah yeah you actually so hack through a person that is there and that person was alive and you can hear their life extinguished but you saw through it it's yeah. a grievous wound so that upper right arm seems to kind of like slack down a little bit but it's head thing registers you and it takes this damage nice and the next up is gaius dealing with his situation uh yeah get on it dude so, do you, are you thinking a stiff shot of Amasak is going to snap me out of this trembling? Bear in mind, it is only trembling. 
What do you reckon, GM? Yeah, I'm looking at um, what's snapping out of it. Did it? Does it specify anything? Yeah, you make a willpower test yeah. on your turn instead of taking an action. If successful, you regain your senses and forget the effects. I love. Um, I love that you're. Yeah, you're. You're reaching for your glass. It's your. Your best friend. That would be my solution. Surely. Can you get there. Sure. Let's see if it happens. I think you're allowed to act at minus twenty or something. But yeah, otherwise you snap out of it. This is your your move. Yep. So what, what you want me to do? You want me to roll this, or do you just want me to pass it because I drank the alcohol? No, you got to roll it. You got to succeed. Yeah. What willpower? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Regular willpower or modified? I don't think it's modified. Yeah, it's just a regular test. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Ooh. What does nice. it look like? Yes. Brother Gaius is reaching for his Amasek. <laughs> I think you know exactly what it looks like. It's a you know, couple of some, some sh shaky fingers, uh, perhaps, you know, a nice stiff shot. I close my eyes for a second. The uh, shaking gradually subsides. Uh, smirk to the side of my wrinkled elderly face. I open my eyes with renewed focus and bring the rod to bear upon the enemies of the Emperor. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Um, okay, so he will... He's uh, starting to, to even out. We have a... Oh, you know what? It shouldn't have actually been, guys, but that's fine. It's it's all before the Oconi. So now it's Severus, who is currently uh, force gumping his way out of the room. <laughs> <sighs> so, so, oh, Sev so Severus... I over, I'm um, trying to overcome my shame in running in the face of the emperor and these lowly lap dogs of an inquisitor, and I need to roll a uh, willpower. So here's the thing, Jeff: is is Severus uh, close enough to the door because we just ran in? Can he run out around the corner? Because as soon as he can't see the thing, then he's allowed to make the test. Absolutely. So if you think, yeah, if you think he can run far enough away and then make the test this turn, then he can. Absolutely. Otherwise, okay, All right. Hey, yeah. Severus has been working on his cardio. He is in good shape. Now, if you really uh, want to make if you really want to make this test, I don't know what your willpower is, but you have a bunch of fate points. You can spend one to get a plus ten on the roll, or you can spend one to re-roll uh, after you've rolled if you don't like it. I think, I'm gonna go with a re-roll in case I fail. Do, I think you can do both if you want to spend both uh, both I, points. I, I think you yeah, can. Yeah, mathematically, the re-roll is usually superior, so I'm gonna go with a re-roll in case I fail. Uh, yeah, any modifiers? Clear, Jeff? You don't have to clear it in advance. You you can make the roll and then re-roll if you want to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, I'm, any modifiers? Yeah. Back up no. rules. Okay. Oh! Nice. He did. Fucking right. Oh, yeah. He gets Shaked around. Shit together. What does it look like when Severus gets around the corner and by several degrees of success realizes he needs to turn back and help? What does that look like? The, the cold dagger of shame runs up his spine. He turns... Completely disgusted with himself, cocks his fucking combat shotgun, kicks nope. the door open again. Nope. Comes no in guns a blazing because he has to redeem just, himself. Listen, now. the door is a metaphor for his failure, okay? He's there kicked the is. door is his failure down. Can he take an agility check to fall over for kicking the imaginary door? He. <laughs> well, he first punches an innocent person in the face. Then he comes through the there door. There are no innocent people within this den of heresy, my foolish arbiters. <laughs> he this is what spiritually I've been saying. punches an innocent person in the face. <laughs> All right. Person is a metaphor for his embarrassment. Okay. So Shut one, up, Adam. You're unconscious. <laughs> well, Adam Finally, for, for, for four rounds, for four mere rounds, we don't have to suffer the gilded mewling of Brother Fabulous. <laughs> the Akoni is going to take a toughness check, which is... I just have to get under 30, I guess? Or no, under 60. Uh, let's see if he does. It does. He Yep. So at the beginning of his turn, you can kind of see that wound that it took where the person just died on its shoulder spot. It just knits back together and pulls back together. Um, yeah. Mechanically, this is one point of damage returned to it, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, uh, but it does have regeneration, Pretty and it ass. looks its head had already turned down to Scythia, and it's and it just pulls back one of its arms and whoosh, just whips its. Well, you're about to find out what it is. I can't parry, so yeah, go go for you it. Can't. 
Oh, no, I did. I did an all-out attack, so I can't parry. Okay. Um, I might have to fate point this one. We'll see. I think I failed. So. God, please, Gimper, protect me. Oh yeah, yeah seven five is real high. Yeah, that's nope. a fail. Advantage, it's a fail. Woo! So it just, it's, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you a fair description of what this looks like though, because it yeah pulls back, whips all five of the tendrils miss you, but um, you stagger a little bit with how hard this goes past you. Like it's. You get the sense that this is a very lethal, lethal attack. It can one-shot me, basically, but I, I, have, I, I got lucky. You got lucky the first time. It is a nice. four-armed monster, which means... Oh, it makes shit. That's right. <laughs> other arm on the left side comes sliming in... Or not sliming, but... Comes uh, swinging Bring in. Bring it. Oh, hit. that's a hit. Um, so I'll just roll for damage. This is from the left side of its arm. It does one d ten plus strength bonus plus two, so uh, plus six. So it's plus eight. Only a one. It does nine damage. Okay, it hits me in the body. I have eight yes. uh, protection in my body, so I take mm. one point of body damage. protection. Madness is the greatest armor. Yeah, that's right. right. You take one damage. It doesn't even hit you with that second one either. Just kind of like one of the tendrils like nicks your your shoulder or whatever and spins you about. Um, but you, upon looking at it, you see it's actually muscling up. The mechanic here is it actually gets two x its strength bonus on its attacks from here on out. It's going to actually ah, do that. Gotcha. Uh, yep. Don't worry. I screwed our victory approaching. I'm on the fly trying to make it fair. So here we go. No, that's uh, cool. So that's I, yeah, one dude. round of combat. Um, so Adam, you get to tick that because I guess yeah, it's just I got it. Or that you're on the ground, unconscious. Is it or are you crying or what is that? No, I'm, I fainted. I'm I'm lying on the ground near the near the door. Uh, oh. Severus has to jump over me to get into the room. And we're back up to Scythia then on the second round of combat. What mm -hmm. do you What do you do? I'm Fuck still fucking crazy. Up. I'm not gonna roll to shake it. I don't think I can do that. Right? You How can't. long am I crazy? No. Uh, just... Until you're knocked unconscious or until I think everything is dead. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, I will all out attack then again. And by the way, that oh, no, you can't. You can you can choose to snap out of it, or until you're knocked unconscious, or or oh, incapacitated. So it would take an action from you. You don't get any penalty to attack, so you might as well just keep chopping them up. I mean, I kind of right? She couldn't parry while she's crazy. No, no, she can. That was just the all out attack. Oh, I'm, I, I've okay. I've chosen to act that way. I don't technically have to act that way. Uh, okay, but it's like how many wounds is far? How many wounds does this thing the, even got? Doing one wound to me is the least amount of damage it can do. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else is more than that, uh, including up to killing me. So I'm still all out attacking, though, because that's how things are when you're crazy. So she do. Um, however, this time I'm going to m modify my roleplay slightly. Uh, having used my chainsword um, and, and bitten into the body of the beast mm -hmm. uh, and severed its... Uh, severed its collar, human collarbone. A as the chainsword catches and grinds, Scythia's, in her madness, like gets bored with, with that. Uh, <laughs> and it, it attacks her and sp sp you know, splatters her blood on the floor. And she, she comes back up into the camera holding her, her hunting lance. It's, like it's kind of like a bang stick, like a shark mm -hmm. bang stick. It's got an explosive charge on the end of it. Uh, and she knocks her head back and is like... <laughs> <laughs> and and runs up its body and plunges it into the the wound that's knitting closed and tries to detonate the the hunting lance into its flesh. Awesome. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Uh, I might have to I'm gonna have to fate point this one. Let's see. Uh, I'll, I will all out attack again, so I can't evade the modifier. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. There baby. we go. There Ooh. we go. Uh, yeah, so it's Nicely three. Done. We'll get to that. So that is one. I get to re-roll that. Oh, you critted? No, you rolled a one. Uh, no, I no, no. I rolled right, a one, yeah. but I get another roll. Okay, so that's four. So it's three more. So I do 18, penetration seven to its 82. I think which is... Right leg? Left leg? Right leg! Who doesn't have any legs, but whatever! We got but still there. no crit is the only part, right? If you crit was, is where it matters for that, I guess. It was not a crit. Uh, did 18. However, I did seven levels of of effect, so I'm actually going to sub that for my damage. So my damage is actually 
eight, uh, uh, four, three, it's three more. So it's, um, 18 penetration seven. Okay. It's at overall minus 33 then. Uh, and this wound, you said, so it's in its lower body. It doesn't have legs, like you said, but it's in its tail. You dig it in there, get a little bit clearer, whatever. It blows up in another, this time, pretty debilitating, grievous wound. It does not look like it's doing very well. Uh, bodies, like, shoot off and slide around, and it's it's just falling apart a little bit. Uh, it's otherwise, you, you get the feeling that moves at an unerring, like, just very fast creature is now, like, hobbling at you. Like, its lower arms are using it to pull it across the, uh, the the ground while its upper arms are still up in the air. And that brings us now in the proper order to Severus, who has recently found his wits and can now... Come on, man. Just re re regain the glory of the Emperor. Redeem yourself and all your failed roles. You could do it. I believe in you. I believe in me, too. Severus, he's feeling the, 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 the spirit, the mighty spirit of the Emperor. Okay. He's coming in with that shock mall of injustice that only strikes the innocent with full brutality. And here we go. Uh, Jeff, any? Uh, do I get any bonuses? Not for me. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I'm also I'm I'm gonna taking inspiration from uh, Scythia. I'm going to go all out as well, even though I know that that's going to result in my death. We're going for it. If you want, again, if you want a bonus, you can get a plus 10 from using a fate point. Um, yeah. So. We're going to do that too. Okay. okay. And here we go. Epic fail. Arbitrator Severus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You hit it, but barely. <laughs> <laughs> you have the worst luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I just a non-innocent bystander! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> that was the first well, we time did. for everything. One degree <laughs> of success, just right, squeaked by. It took everything I had, <laughs> but I did it. Oh, <laughs> damage! Oh, brother, that's so funny. Twelve. No penetration. No. Okay, you do uh, what ends up being four damage to it, so it's down to minus 37. Huzzah! It's it. your shock maul, right? Yeah. It is. All right. Uh, you come running in. <laughs> it's quite the scene, because you literally ran out one moment ago, it's like <laughs> screaming, ah! And you come running back in, and you just jump up and club it with an all-out attack, That's which, right. you know, this one looks like just a, a, a melee. You're just going after it. Uh, and that brings us to Brother Gaius. Mm. is sitting up right now. He's had his drink. What do you do, bud? Can I discern any sort of vital part of this creature, or is it just an amalgamated mass of shit? Yeah, I would... Uh, it literally, one of its qualities is called... Um, God, where is it? Amalgamated well, mass of shit. Weird. <laughs> it's got yeah. it in one. It's one of its traits. <laughs> It just literally doesn't seem it, like the description for it is it does not have any discerning critical point at all. Amorphous, right. I think is what that is, right? Something like that. Yep. Something like that, yeah. Well, in that case, I take a half aim and just take a shot at it. Okay. You got it in, UTB. Another, you got it. Let's see. I believe right. in you. Okay, half aim. I'm at what? Short range on this thing. Probably with sniper rifle, yeah. Yes. Perpetrator Severus the Tepid. <laughs> <laughs> right. I didn't run um, away. No I, was just, I was just getting room to run up for my massive assault. Nice. Yeah. That's a hit. That's a hit. Yep. Nice. Okay, two, we hit it. Two degrees of success. Yep. And that's a damage. Um, we do have to add something to that. Uh, thanks to Death Dealer, I believe we add what plus three to that as a result and, of Death and Dealer. You aimed, you aimed first, so you get your. I, your, I did, yeah. So yeah, yeah, so that was what aiming with an accurate weapon. Yep. Which gives me what? You roll two d two d ten, and uh, and add them. Okay. Both. No, it's just the high, It's gonna be the highest one, right? Um, I don't know. We we did this before. I can't remember what it is. Yeah, I did it, it before. I forget actually. 
Yeah. Uh, both. That would be. That see. would be ridiculous. Yeah. I, it it probably is the higher. Yeah. Accurate is. Here we go. Um. As far as a single shot, the attack inflicts an additional 1d10 for each two degrees of success beyond the first. Ah, two degrees beyond the first. Up to two. Right, that's why we rolled it before. Gotcha. So yep. you do get you get just the one, because you didn't hit it quite hard enough. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. So I get... Right. Uh, so... Additional, uh, additional d10. Additional d10. All right. Okay. We'll do 10. Okay. Seven. Nice. And then you add three to that for, from Death Dealer. So yep. total 22. is... Yeah, 22 with penetration three. Okay. And you're um, hitting the left leg, I believe. But yeah, yeah, ninety-six. Leg. Basically, everything over eighty something is left leg. Oh my god! Well, it is what it is. The Akoni reels up on its grievous wounds. All arms looking to swing, <sighs> hits it right in center mass or whatever, and it just falls apart. Just all of it un unglues as whatever was holding it together. No longer is the shot exits the back and splatters the dead gray matter of these people and whatever was inside of it on the back and it just falls forward and it just kind of you know its arm goes rolling this way it's you know someone's leg is right there or whatever it's just a mess it was no longer together i, I love how our most reluctant uh war band member to use violence as the most deadly member of the team. <laughs> no one said anything about reluctance to use violence. Nobody said anything about that. The Emperor's justice should be applied as a surgical tool, not as a brick to the head of everything that comes around the corner. It's as simple as that. If we I'm sorry, I meant most a... long-ended. That's what I meant. Sorry. Guys, yeah. it's, I'm glad you finally figured that out. Finally and in fact, it. that's a, that's the most that I've heard come out of your mouth over the last four hours, dear. Well, hang on. This is out of character. I have to make a very important uh, snap out of it roll but before I unload yes. on Severus. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's about true. to actually murder the Arbitus. Yeah. I'm so about it, to fucking wreck I mean, it, hold on, but hold on. It's also if you're restrained. So okay, uh, yep, we, we do it in turn order, right? Yep, so yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. is dead. Oh, my. Uh, who's, right. <laughs> who's, right, right, next, right. who's next in the order? Scythia. <laughs> Shit! Now you can. Make... I I will make my snap out of it. I was it hoping roll. I was hoping Severus would be after you. I know that would yeah. be amazing. Because then he could, he could try to hold you down. Yeah. Okay, so it's a will, just a normal willpower test. Is that what I'm? Yep. Doing? If you fail, you are not snapped out. Of it. I oh, super fail. No whammies. Yeah, no whammies. Don't snap. Definitely don't snap out of it. I do not snap out of it. Laughing and, hysterically, and... Scythia turns to the closest target, which is the re the newly reinvigorated Arbitaz Severus. Yep. Go yep. ahead and make I feel him call. just dying here would be a perfect punctuation to what so, at this point. I no, my not chain... at all. Because <laughs> you're next. <laughs> I use my chain sword. I've used my hunting lance. I, my mono sword is left. I'm gonna take out the mono sword and attack you. Uh, of course, it's still all out. I mean, I'm in the same mindset as yep. before. Yep, and he all out it as well. So he. I you, hit. Uh, uh oh. What roll for um, damn? The emperor protects. Severus. I don't know. Mono sword. <laughs> I do. Oh my god. I, I do 18 damage to your right arm. Penetration 2. I've got two arms because the Emperor willed it. I think I'm going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> gave you, a you, have, you have an extra arm. Two arms have? and no brains. <laughs> well, what's your All right, so my, my uh, left arm has armor 5. Oh, okay. That's light carapace? Yeah. Okay, so five, and then what's your toughness? Uh, it's 35, Jeff. So three, My god, three. it's not a horrible, mono-bladed, armor-cutting weapon. Oh, wait. So, so that's six, other, uh, Arbitaz Severus well, takes damage. 10 damage. How much health do you have? Ooh, that's a, that's a good question. I think I'm 15. Do you? Wow, that's a lot. Do you, have 15? Do you have 15 wounds? Well, we can check his character sheet. How many wounds does he have? Do you have 15. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's find out. Where, where no, it? I'd say yes, 10. 10. Well, that's 10. Is it level 1? Which does that it's always out? It's always the same. Yeah. Well, so long. Uh, so, but you're not. So, this is. He's not right? dead. You can yeah, spend you fate when you hit zero. Less. Yeah, you can use a fate point, or we can roll on the when you hit zero wounds, uh, you get fucked up tables. I would mm -hmm. ask that we roll on the chart since it's a one shot. We're we're five minutes away from ending. Can we just can we see what happens when? Let's do it, man. Of course, completely appropriate considering. All right. Of course. 
I think uh, arbitrator Severus accepts his fate for the. <laughs> yeah, so where did where did you where did you? Yeah, where him? was the hit? Where did you get hit with here? Um, it was the his arm. left arm, I believe. Okay, so what happens to the left arm if you could roll for that? That'd be beautiful. We got yeah, we got to figure out what to roll because it, it's based on success and how how much damage you did and all that other shit. So. <laughs> So I did. I did ten damage, and I did. My margin of success was surrendering a five. Is it rending critical? Uh, okay. Blah blah blah. Combat circumstances. Here we go. Energy yeah. critical effects. Explosive critical so impact. Rending. Rending. I rending. Okay. Yeah. Rending to the uh, right. Rending to the arm. Yep. Um, and how much critical damage did you deal? I think it's whatever is left. No, it's just he just hit zero. So we're just kind of it's yeah, he just did. Oh zero. no, that's what I'm saying. Whenever a character's total damage exceeds his wounds, he begins to take crit. Whenever he suffers oh, no, actually, damage, wait, wait, wait. Uh, you, I actually did two over because I did I did twelve total, not not ten. Okay, oh, okay. so yeah, you take yeah. two two critical damage. Uh, yeah. That goes on your sheet because the next critical hit will add two. So the t two critical damage to the arm is. Uh, deep cuts cause the target to drop his arm. He suffers one level of fatigue and releases anything he was holding in his hand. So you you drop your maul and you take two critical damage. Uh, How no, much? No, no, no severed arm. Some... No severed arm yet. Yet you're still out. Damn it! You haven't lost the arm yet. I guess I'm not done attacking. So no, you're not. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who, yeah, who goes? Wasn't this this whole horror thing was supposed to be till the end of the encounter? But I guess because. <laughs> Because this guy's in melee range, he still thinks the encounter's going on, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I that would so. make can I, sense. Can I parry that attack? attack? No, you all outed before. Yeah, when you all out, you don't get a reaction. Okay, yeah. so so that was that was your turn, right? You're attacking. Yeah. Uh, sorry, yep, I'm, done. I'm done. Next is. So I'm, I mark uh, one more asleep. I've got one more turn of being unconscious. Yep. Severed. And it goes to Gaius. Oh, good lord. One of the things you can do is attempt to subdue her, like yes. grab her. Grab yes, her, come, yeah, come within melee range. Yeah, yeah, sounds totally. like Just a wonderfully her and then... great idea. I can't <laughs> convince her using charm nope. or command or anything. No. Nope. Incapacitated or till she makes the roll herself. Oh my god. You can shoot me. <laughs> I I could. The problem is you're you two are now of equal height and in melee. I can't even reliably hit one of you at this point. Also, it's a sniper rifle, and everything we've shot up to this point has a tendency of exploding, so maybe... <laughs> yeah. There's only one thing to do right now, and that is intimidate her. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, that, that doesn't work. Like, you have to physically restrain her or knock her out. I was just kidding, but yes, I, you're, you are correct. It'd be nice if that was possible. <laughs> I mean, I think you can take called shots, right? You could you could take a minus twenty or something and shoot my weapon out of my hand or some crazy move like that, right? I yeah, it wouldn't even just be a minus twenty. You two are in melee, so that's another minus twenty on top of that. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I couldn't hit true. shit. Like even with a fate point and my good ballistic skill, I ain't doing it. Yeah, I don't know how to solve this particular problem and let you two fight to the death. <laughs> sure, sounds fine to me. <laughs> I've only got one arm. This isn't a fair fight. And you've still got your arm. It's it's not off completely. Yeah. Quit being a baby. Uh, <laughs> so do, do you do nothing then, I guess? Uh, I, I'm just trying to think of anything good that my... I could do. It's not your turn yet, Reese. Oh, my bad. I'm just looking at snapping out of it here. Well, let me help you. We have about two or three more minutes to go. And mm -hmm. in the grand scheme of things, meh. So you can. I would just try to wrestle him or shoot him or something. Do I want to run into a whirling dervish of blades? No. Nor would my character do such a thing. Uh, you can shoot the arbitons. That would also solve the problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> it would, actually. Okay. You know, and that's actually in character. <laughs> if you if you shoot the if you shoot the Arbitas, she'll come after you next because it's the nearest target. Mm, yeah, but uh, this counts as the end of the encounter, right? If she mm, no, no, it doesn't. Anybody. It doesn't end at the end of the encounter. The encounter is not a thing. So she'll just keep going berserk till John rolls to succeed. I will. Is, I will get another roll to. She'll out. kill. She'll kill all of us. Well, I, I mean, maybe not me if I play dead and can convince her. Severus reaches out and curses you <laughs> before he dies. <laughs> 
sees the, you thinking about I mean, it. The, in that case, the best thing I could do in this circumstance is back the fuck off. Yes. Yeah. That, that's, <laughs> Get the that's fuck a, out of here. Smart, that's a smart thing yeah. to do. Go, far, go, find the, how, go find the relic. While just, we, yeah. Well, I mean, the one hope would all be doing that. What distance am I away from this from this melee right now? 10, 15 feet. Okay. Are those metric feet or just regular ones? <laughs> Hard, 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 Hard. Hard. Imperial, specifically. feet. Because what I'm thinking is I, I spend just the full turn aiming at her and wait. Oh, yeah. That's smart. And see what the outcome of this is. Yeah, I, you know, regretfully look down my scope and aim at Scythia, but I spend the whole turn doing that. Nice. Um, and that was your action, so that the Akoni's dead, so we just go back up to the top, because it's one more tick off of Adams, which mm -hmm. means you pop up this round, but we go to Scythia at 13. I attack my friend again in my madness. Snap the fuck out of it, surely. Yeah, oh, that's right, yeah, I try that first. Yeah, you get to try to snap out of it, and then if not. First, first, the snap out of it. Hey, there you go. Hey! You got it. Look so you that. pull your sword out of the arm of Arbitaz Severus and uh, <laughs> Thank you know, you. look a little bit regretful about it, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a little bit. I, I don't really know it. <laughs> the room is awfully quiet. The feeling of, of not being able to look in that direction is now gone. Uh, there are no people running. You don't hear anything at all. It's very quiet, except you do then hear the footsteps of a booted man coming from behind, and in walks a nondescript, average-looking guy in normal imperial garb. No, no purple robe here. Uh, he's got a bag over his shoulder, kind of on his back. Looks in. He has a like weirdly horrified look on his face. Not horrified in the sense of like I'm going to run forever, but like a what in the absolute fuck is going on kind of look on his face. <laughs> and he just looks at you guys and is like, what the hell's going on? Do we know this guy? You do not. Is this the gentleman that we've been looking for, the possible perpetual that we have been warned about on this planet? Do you say that? That's what I say. With my arm bleeding profusely, as yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm 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 awake now, right? So I'm probably like standing up and yeah. I'm brushing off my robes. I'm like John Grammaticus, I presume. He kind of looks at you guys and he's just uh, he looks disappointed and he's like, "Yeah, who the hell are you guys?" Just the <laughs> Imperial agent that has been mauled by this maniac. He's like, uh huh. And he's like slowly making his way to the room and his eyes keep darting to the other door. Not darting, that's not fair to say, but like like a dueler almost kind of looking across at his challenge. And he's like, yeah, that's really rough. Uh, everyone's dead out there. Did you know that? Still walking. I start limping towards him to try and stop him. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, we're standing between him and the, and the door. Yeah, right? yeah. absolutely. Uh, as you kind of walk towards him, he like backs up. He's like, no, 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 no. There's no reason for any more violence. I just need to get into that room, and I'll be on my way. It's totally fine. Uh, I'm losing consciousness, but uh, we we have to ask him a couple questions before he moves into this door. Do you say that? Yes. Okay. Well... Here's the thing, guys. John Grammaticus is a really powerful psyker. So, yeah. <laughs> I think at the end of that conversation, and after you ask those questions, you feel really good about it. Um, you guys kind of snap out of a, a fugu, and uh, he's gone. He went into the door. You guys had a conversation with yourself, and the the mission's over. We did it's it, good. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another victory for the Imperium. Cool. Chalk it up on the big board. Also, we snap. ran out of time. I was going to have more things for us to do. Right I now. want to snap into a second helping of that fugu. Give me some of that shit. I was going to say, uh, that's a fugue, and Severus <laughs> strikes again, motherfucker. <laughs> no, you, it's, yeah, you, you snap into it like, like you would a Slim Jim. Come on. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. In my world, it's a fugu. 
I think. <laughs> uh, maybe in your real world where English is a language, it's not, but... Uh, no, yeah, it's complete GM horseshit, guys, and I'm sorry, but uh, it's also... It was going to have to be horseshit one way or the other. Either it, I was going to have a conversation with him or something, but... You know, we don't have the time. We got to We got to one shot. It. This is how things go. Sometimes you go crazy and then a psycho shows up and takes your shit and disappears. That's that's just how that's what happens. You know what? I we'll do this. Intimidated one him. final roll. Son exactly. of a bitch. No, the chat's right. You get one intimidation roll with no modifiers as to whether or not he is able to charm you guys and keep it hidden that he actually it just left. gets one of the most powerful psychic beings in the universe. Yeah. Joe. Sure. <laughs> This is totally. Arbitrator Severus. Yeah. The man with one arm. One final intimidation. Ben, Sven, do you got any more fate points? Just get, them, get them ready here, buddy. I don't think I need it. I Prepare for failure, boys and you girls. You don't need it. You got this. You're good. One. And here it comes. Devastating yeah. disappointment. Watch you roll like a one or two or some shit. I mean, it's successful. <laughs> yeah, it's not enough. I'm sorry, but yeah, he's, just, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, fair, fair point. And in, in your fugue state or your little dream state, uh, he's really intimidated. That's what he gives you. He's just like cowering and <laughs> you save the day. Uh, that is unfortunately it, ladies and gentlemen. I we we had a blast. We'll wrap up, but I, I do want to take responsibility. This is one of the only one shots I've done, so. I could have managed time a lot better, and we would have had a more fi filling ending. Uh, but at the same time, part of my style, if I was given more time, is just to fuck with people. And that's, that is that is what ended up happening. So it's a little stylistic. Uh, but let's go around the horn. That was, that was really, really fun. Um, Mr. Harper, why don't you, why don't you uh, tell us about yourself and, and, and where we can find you? Yeah, uh, I'm John Harper. I'm a game designer uh, by trade, and I'm also the other roleplay GM besides... Our lovely Adam Coble. Uh, you can check me out on the weekends. On Sundays, I run Roleplay Blades here on MEJP. And uh, 17design.com is my website if you want to go check out some of my free games. Blades in the Dark is coming out this month. Uh, the printer is putting ink on paper and shipping books and all that stuff right now as we speak. Nice. Uh, so that will be released very, very soon. Very exciting. Uh, you can also pick it up on Drive Through RPG if you're interested in Blades in the Dark and checking out that game. Uh, this was a blast. Thank you so much to the players and to Jeff for GMing, for JP for producing. Yeah. Um, one shots are always a fucking mess, uh, and um, this one was a glorious, very fun uh, exploration of the 40k universe, uh, particularly the very end, which is totally badass and cool. And I loved it so much. So thank you, thank you, Jeff, for a fun time, and to everybody else. That was great. Thank you. Uh, Adam Coble or Cowbell as he's newly been named. <laughs> Again, <laughs> just just really, really beautiful, beautiful experience here <laughs> playing games with all of you. Um, yeah, thanks for thanks for coming, everybody. Um, as as John mentioned, I'm a, I'm another of the role play GMs. Uh, you can find me uh, right here usually on Tuesdays and Saturdays running Court of Swords and Nebula Jazz. And otherwise, you can find me on Twitter at SkinnyGhost or twitch.tv slash Adam Coble. I wanted to offer uh, special shout outs to uh, Dark Heresy 2nd Edition lead designer Andrew Fisher. A plus for effort, buddy. Good try. <laughs> Good try. Wow. That is cold. That is cold. <laughs> he tried, all right? <laughs> Just want to acknowledge. Gold star. Love you, Andrew. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> uh, very good. Mr. Mr. Total Biscuit, what about you, bud? Just the invite. Much appreciated. Uh, something of a small way to make up for the way that we ended Dark Heresy like two plus years ago. We will <laughs> never truly know the fate of Hawk and Friend and the mysterious jar of Melta Beans, but such <laughs> is the way of the universe. Uh, big thanks for having me on. Big thanks to Jeff for spending all his time organizing this, for walking me through character creation all this other shit that i couldn't understand because it's been years since i played this and i don't do pen and oh. paper very often uh, thanks to everyone for watching and of course thanks to everyone for playing along with my antics that's where i have the most fun with games like this in fact it's actually where i get yes. the only fun out of games like this um just i would say be glad that you didn't have to deal with weeks upon weeks of engelbart kappa you got the you got the uh less awful end of the stick when it came to the social interaction portion of this show. 
As for what I do, you can find it over at youtube.com slash cynical Brit or youtube.com slash total halibut. Every month or so, I do a tournament with Jeff Robinson. It's called Shoutcraft Kings. A lot of money on the line for a big StarCraft II King of the Hill. The next event probably be happening sometime in April. Keep an eye on my Twitter, twitter.com slash total biscuit for information on that kind of thing. Awesome. And uh, last but not least from our players, Mr. Recius here. Tell us about yourself. I had so much fun uh, doing this with you guys. Thank you very much for having me. It was a, an absolute blast. And though Severus may have died in the game, he will live on in my heart. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> harassing the internet. But uh, please come and check us out at FrontlineGaming.org. If you enjoyed the setting that the game took place in, you can find out infinitely more about it at FrontlineGaming.org. We do all kinds of fun stuff in the Warhammer 40K and Age of Sigmar universes. So check us out at frontlinegaming.org, and we hope to see you there. Thanks again, guys. I had an absolute blast playing with you. Yeah, Thank you, Reese. Um, for me, I want to give, of course, a huge shout out to JP for producing this and for uh, giving me the opportunity to, to do this. I love role-playing. We've uh, been doing it with JP for years now, and it's it's only been a few times I've been able to do the other side of it, um, and I thought it was extremely fair and uh deserving that i had both adam and john here because they've been on the other end of my fuckery for a very long time <laughs> uh, i i feel i feel pretty sufficiently balanced after that you guys uh <laughs> one shotting and like balancing a monster and shit like that you guys just drop them without a problem he whiffed on his two attacks or whatever for the most part i was like cool <laughs> um so yeah i feel i feel a new appreciation on the other side um so thank you to you guys as well thank you to reese and john for coming on um i was a little bit nervous going to this just because i i really respect and value our friendship but also wanted to put on an awesome show for you guys so uh hope it sounds like everyone had a good time that was my end goal the rules for this uh in a not so subtle way i'll back up what adam said jesus i mean it is <laughs> like uh i'm i'm actually like the worst kind of student i do everything the night or two before but on this i was like well it's really important so five days ago i started reading and i had like a panic attack i was like this is stupid I, i'm not even sure how i know how to fight like and uh, this was the second attempt at it yes so bear that in mind so we did it. yeah i will i will say i will say this if people are interested in like less complex ways to have like a space marine story or uh, people with religious authority doing badass shit story um definitely check out uh, dogs in the vineyard for the latter and uh, 316 carnage among the stars for the former they're both awesome and do similar things to what 40k and and dark heresy uh, do and, and you might you might like them so definitely go check those two games out i've heard of that yeah Just definitely check them out awesome um, games and then for me personally, I do another role, sh uh, role play show with, with Mr. Harper here uh, called Blaze in the Dark. We do it on Sundays. You should definitely check it out. Um, it's it's a it, we have an amazing time. And there's a lot of really good synergy there um, between the castmates and Mr. John. Uh, I think that's going to do it. Make sure and click the follow button for everybody here on, on their Twitters and their and their stuff. They all do stuff online that that's how we make our lifeblood. So make sure and support us. I posted the AMA. Uh, in JP's channel, I'm sure in the completely wrong section. That's just the way I write it. I don't know, man. <laughs> um, so if you have any questions, comments, or I'm inviting you to criticize, but just please be gentle about it because uh, I would love to do this more in the future. And, and again, my end goal is that you guys had fun. Um, in a one shot, my philosophy, again, is to not be super locked down in rules, like enough that we're obviously playing the system, but I don't want it to be. We shouldn't be looking up rules for four hours. Anyways, that's enough jabbering at you guys. Again, thank you all so much, and uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.